from PETA's website today, or People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Rabbits Need You. The U.S. continues to burn blind and or poison them for cosmetic testing. Even though modern alternative exists, alternatives exist, the U.K. and India have already banned it. Share and sign this petition to ban animal testing in the United States now. So, while we're on the subject, this is the Rules of Procedure of the Freeburg's Ethics Commission International, or FICI, Revised Version 2006. The Freeburg's Ethics Commission International, or FICI, was founded in 1980 and is oriented on the United States Review Boards. Since its inception, FICI has reviewed and provided expert opinions for clinical studies using human test subjects. Let me read that again. Since its inception, FICI has reviewed and provided expert opinions for clinical studies using human test subjects. After more than 25 years of existence, the FICI has achieved a national and international reputation for professionalism. Not humanity or saving anything. They're very professional about the way that they use their human test subjects. The expert opinion prepared for a clinical study is based on the current editions of the recommendations of the Revised World Medical Association's Declaration of Helsinki, the directives and guidelines of the European Union, and the regulations, the regulations or laws of the United States Food and Drug Administration. Additionally, the current laws and regulations in Germany and all other countries in which the clinical study is to be conducted are also an inherent part of this basis. Now, what you're witnessing with your own eyes is that the United States Incorporated has contracted with the Ethics Commission to use you as a human test subject through the Food and Drug Administration. All known medications are still in the clinical phase cycle, by the way, including Tylenol, uh, Motrin, Bactrim, Septra, uh, Seroquel, and other drugs that you take on a daily basis as the human test subject for their design. What's their design, you ask? From the United States General Accounting Office, Office of the Comptroller General, September 2001, Version 1, Human Capital, a self-assessment checklist for agency leaders. And we'll start with what is human capital. Simply stated, human capital means people. There are, however, two key principles that are central to the human capital idea. First, people are assets whose value can be enhanced through investment. Hmm? First, people are assets whose value can be enhanced through investment. As with any investment, the goal is to maximize value while managing risk. As the value of people increases, so does the performance capacity of the organization and therefore its value to clients and other stakeholders. Second, an organization's human capital policies must be aligned to support the organization's shared vision, that is, the mission, vision for the future, core values, goals, and objectives, and strategies by which the organization has defined its direction and its expectations for itself and its people. All human capital policies and practices should be designed, implemented, and assessed by the standard of how well they help the organization pursue its shared vision.